what's up y'all what it do welcome back to my channel i am your girl tina baba what's up what's happening how y'all doing how everybody feeling y'all we gonna get into the get into of everything that we have found out so far from brian laundry because y'all we is waiting on his ass to get caught so he can go to jail where he belong like we just waiting on him to get put behind bars still hashtagging justice for gabby and that's on period i told one of my subscribers that i was gonna show um brian's mom and dad well the picture of his mom that i screenshotted when i was watching the news and they was putting her in the car is blurry you can't even see her it's just like you can't see her so i don't have a picture of his mom but i do have this picture of his dad right here and then I zoom in on it a little bit. So that's what his dad looked like. Now y'all know today we plan on going live and we want to see what everybody um feel what type of person was Brian like in real life. So that's what we going to discuss and talk about like what type of person do y'all think Brian was in real life. So the so not only am I getting y'all all the information that I said I was going to um, get to y'all with this video, but I'm also going to tell y'all my opinion of what type of person that I feel he is so that y'all already know that when we go live this evening. And yeah, we'll already have that part out of the way. Gabby had one friend in Florida. Her name was Rose. Okay, and Rose did an interview, and we just about to let Rose. Let's just listen to Rose's interview. Let's just do that. Um, uh, roughly two years ago, um, I got a message on uh, Bumble from for friends, and it uh, was, uh, you seem so cool. I want to be your friend. Can we be friends? And I was like, of course. And from there, we started hanging out every day and it's kind of weird to say I met her on Bumble for Friends. People always laughed at us for that. Uh, but hey, glad she came into my life. And, and how was your friendship? What did you do? Well, our famous thing was this ice cream shop that unfortunately I just found out yesterday closed down. Um, but that was our first go-to and then other than that we were pretty like just kind of chilling all the time, you know, just hanging out and talking and she came everywhere with me we uh we joked around and said she was my uh, 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 uh what do we call her uh emotional uh service human because <laughs> everywhere she went just to like just always cheering me up you know and, and how soon after you first met her did you meet Brian? Um, it was about the second time we hung out. I went over to her house, either second or third time, and he was hanging out there, and yeah, that's when I first met him. Well, what was their relationship like? Well, what is their relationship Thank you. Um, on the outside, it's, he's very charismatic, so it seems very loving, and there's no doubt in my mind that she, she loves him, and I know that, and from how I've always seen it, he loves her. Um, of course, like any relationship, there was arguments, and she come stay at my house when there was arguments, just to like get away from it, you know. And I didn't ask most questions because if she wanted to tell me, she could tell me, you know. Um, how many times did she come and stay with you? I couldn't give a number, but I mean. Within the first year, I mean, I want to say at least seven to ten times. Do you remember any one particular incident that you were particularly upset about? Yeah, well, we were supposed to go line dancing. It was ladies' night. And her drive is about 30 minutes to me. And halfway there, she realized her uh, ID was missing. And so it caused a really big argument because Brian just didn't want her to go out. And... It was a jealousy issue, and um, it caused a huge argument between them, and she came over, and 
cried and just talked to me about what happened and told me all that she was comfortable telling me. Did you feel that their relationship was getting more problematic? I do believe that their relationship, as they kept going on, was getting a little, yeah, problematic. I mean, it just seemed like there was more and more arguments and everything she did, I feel like, you know, he thought was wrong. And even as she said in the body cam, he didn't even support her with her blog, which that's not what a fiance or boyfriend does. They support you with anything you want to do and that in itself you know, made me feel like it just continued to get worse. Brian is not talking to the police. What's, what's your message to Brian? I just wish him and his family would realize how serious it is, and my friend's life is at stake, and I would really just appreciate it if he would speak up, and he, he saw her last. If he says something, he has more information. Even just one little thing gives us a place to start. And I just wish he'd say something. Um, if anybody knows or sees any information or thinks they have any information, please, please say something. It, that's, we're relying on. Okay, so as we can see, um she met gabby on bumble bff she ain't had no friends all her friends are um in new york i'm basing how i think brian is from the clips on the youtube video the clips from the police stopping them on the side of the road and from her friend rose he is controlling he is controlling and he is a person that he's insecure within himself and it reflects off onto her in their relationship and he is an abuser so yeah that's what i feel about that's the type of person that i feel like brian is he don't like her going nowhere without him because he's insecure he's controlling so he like for her to only go where he go or that's it He's controlling, he's abusive, and he's a very bad person. Just people on blank. So that's what I think about Brian. Rose, which is Gabby's friend, um, said they tried to go out one night. Brian took her driver's license so that she couldn't go out. Like, what? That is so childish. That is so manipulative. You let her leave out the house, drive her car. She going to her friend house that is 30 minutes away for you to know that you done took her belonging so she cannot go. That is crazy. That is manipulative. Okay, and not only that, from the 911 calls, we know he slaps her. He puts his hands on her. That's abuse. I mean, no sugar coating it. There's no way I can make it nice. It is what it is. He's abusive. So, and the fact that she wanted a friend in Florida shows that she needed somebody other than his people because they're not relatable. Clearly, they wasn't relatable then. So, she needed somebody to go to, to run to, to be able to vent to and rose said gabby the first year of their friendship gabby came to her house about seven or eight seven to ten times that first year leaving from what gabby called brian having an episode so y'all know what episodes are um toxic people toxic men abusive men call episodes the ups and downs in relationships they try to make you believe that everybody get treated bad by their man they use this and they lash out at you they place blame upon you they lie and said you said something you're the reason why they hit you you're the reason why they're mad so they just do these they, they and and gabby was calling it an episode because clearly she didn't know what else to call it. I mean, it's, it's, it's abuse. 
So that's what she was dealing with in her relationship, a two-year relationship. Should that be going on in a two-year relationship? No. Two years, everything still should be gravy, majority of the time, especially between us two. So that's my take on Brian. And I don't put nothing past him. So y'all tell me, y'all can wait until this evening live chat and tell me what you think about Brian and go into details. And if you shy and you don't like to chat doing the live chats, then you can comment down below and go ahead and say your piece on what you think. Because I do know um, there are um, people who don't like to be in the, in the live chats, but you do like to watch and be um, involved. Y'all do thumbs it up, like it, and all those things. So we appreciate you as well. So what's been going on today? They called in a dive team. Okay, so y'all know they searching whatever preserve. We gonna call it the nature preserve over here because I don't have my people with me right now to tell me what's the actual name of that park that's near his um, Brian parents' house that he went hiking in. But that park, that's where um that's they don't call it in the dive team. So they've been searching. Y'all know they've been searching like a week now, and. No, it hasn't been a week. It's been like five days. They've been searching for like five days. And now they've called in a dive team. So, which means people who gears up and go in the water to search. So, I hope the dive team find him. Period. It's, when I do the videos like this, there will be no misinformation. This is true there is no what somebody said there is no what about this person i'm telling y'all the what's happening not the rumors and the lies or i i'm not i'm just not <laughs> so like i said they did call it a dive team y'all we will see what the results of that and see how that turns out and how that goes but i am hopeful for the best now, last thing that I want to talk about on here before I go is the lawyer letter to the lawyer. Okay, so Gabby Parents, which is the Smiths and the Petitos, their lawyer wrote a letter to Brian's lawyer. Okay, don't quote me verbatim. This is what the letter said, but I'm using my own words. The letter said, Hey, bro, delete every piece of Gabby off your page. Do not use our baby as clout. Delete all that shit. You need to go and take our baby picture down off Yelp before we lay hands on you. Now, you saw us message you. Remember, these are my words, but they wrote the letter from their lawyer to his lawyer. Now, we told you in the comments in the picture on Yelp to take our pet baby picture down off this website trying to promote so you can get clientele, so you can tell people how scoundrel you is that you defend murderers. My baby picture down, she will not be one of your so you can promote your low down ass business. You got to 3 p.m. today. Oh, we coming. I ain't gonna tell you how we coming, but we coming. Take it down. You low down, dirty scoundrel. The end. So they want their baby picture taken down off his Yep Wells. Why do you got Gabby on your Yep Wells? defending Brian. Bruh. Get take it down. Take it down. So yeah, y'all. Gabby and parents did send a cease and desist to his ass. Take my baby down off your Yelp. Period. Don't play with us. We not one of them. And um, 
yeah so we're gonna see when he take it down because rightfully so i think like at this day and age i don't think people know what's right and what's not right i don't think what they know is disrespectful you know how disrespectful that is for you to be defending the man who harmed my child and then you had a nerve to have a justice for why you got my baby picture up on your page period why your ass ain't got brown dirty laundry ass on your page take my baby off that page and that's on period i'm with the parents on that oh i know they wish they wish they could have cussed in that letter but i did it for y'all so don't even worry about it. i got your back so yeah so y'all have yeah so i see y'all later on in the chat don't forget to get your notes and y'all tell me what type of person that y'all think Brian is and all other things. What y'all think about the level? And y'all can go and look at what's a Rose. In oh, I showed y'all Rose interview. So y'all hooked that Rose interview right there because I ain't talked through it. I just let her talk and let y'all see the clip. So yeah, and I'll see y'all this evening, y'all. So I'm about to go and eat and I'll see y'all when we get back.